For people in the US, living a normal life in Colombia can be super cheap. But you can also live an extremely luxurious lifestyle in Colombia for a fraction of what it costs in the US. If you've been following us, you probably know that we love budget travel and we are not super fancy. But today, we're going to show you how much it costs to live like millionaires in Colombia. For example, how much it costs to live in a place like this. Or how much it costs to hire a full-time live-in maid, or a full-time driver, or a full-time bodyguard. How much does it cost to go out to a fancy restaurant. Today, we're going to show you the rich world of Colombia. Let's go. So before we hit the road to a fancy restaurant and discoteca, let's cover how much it would cost to rent or buy a place like this. So guys, in the house that we're at right now, we have four bedrooms, seven bedrooms, we have a huge private pool, we have a movie theater, sauna, jacuzzi, uh, 10 car parking lot, and this is located in one of the most expensive areas in Cali, Colombia. To buy a huge, ginormous, brand new house like this, it would cost about $600,000. Which if you compare that to buying a house in San Francisco or Los Angeles or something like that, you could barely get anything. And if you want to rent a place like this, it will go around $3,000 to $4,000 per month. Now you can obviously find smaller places that don't have a million bathrooms and bedrooms for a lot cheaper than that that are still pretty luxurious. But we just wanted to give you a real example and this is how much a house like this would cost. So as you can imagine, to keep this place clean will be a big, big work. So how much that will cost to have a maid cooking and cleaning? A full-time maid that cooks and cleans and sometimes may even live in your house with you. How much would that cost, Diane? That will cost around 400 to 450 dollars per month. Per month. US dollars per month. Yeah. Not so bad if it means never washing a dish again. Now that obviously includes everything inside of the house, but if you want someone to take care of your garden and take care of your pool and do all the shrubs and flowers and everything, that'll cost you another $150 per month about. So now that we covered some of the living costs, let's move into transportation and how much it would cost to hire a full-time driver to drive you everywhere you want to go. But right now it's almost time for dinner, so we're gonna tell you when we drive there. Let's go. So unfortunately, we weren't able to find a driver on short notice for this video, but we were able to get our hands on a Mercedes. So we're able to pretend to be fancy while we tell you how much a driver would cost. Nice. How does this work? <laughs> So we did some investigating on how much it costs to hire a driver full time to drive you around everywhere and we found that it costs around $480 per month. Now you can also get a driver that doubles as a bodyguard but we'll get into bodyguard prices later on. So basically we chose this restaurant that we're going to by opening up Google, sorting by most expensive and sorting by most reviews and the number one has like 2,400 4.5 or 5 star reviews marked as expensive so I'm pretty excited to see what it's really like but for now I'm gonna try not to crash this car because that would make me feel really really bad and once we get to the restaurant we'll show you around let's go all right so we made it here it looks pretty cool with all these different plants yes guys and we're gonna try a delicious food and you can guess how much it's gonna cost and then we'll show you the bill to see if it's expensive or cheap let's go let's go this restaurant is built in a historic house located in one of cali's first neighborhoods they specialize in exotic flavors from colombia's pacific coast for example, this egg roll looking thing is actually made with an exotic fruit called chantaduro and the sauce has a rich, almost chocolatey taste. Since this restaurant is specialized in food from the coast, we went with the fish. I had salmon with sweet plantain puree and Mitch had salmon in passion fruit sauce. The food did not disappoint. All right guys, so how much do you think that fancy dinner costed? 
So each plate costs about $15 and our bill went up a little bit because we had a bunch of different cocktails. But if you compare that to what it would cost in a normal fancy restaurant in the United States, I imagine that your money goes much farther here. So now we're pretty stuffed, so we're gonna head back to the house and rest by the pool until we go out to visit the highest bar in Colombia, supposedly. Let's go. We weren't really sure what rich people do in their free time, but we figured it was probably drinking cocktails and doing yoga by the pool. Now it's time to get ready for the tallest rooftop bar in Cali, Colombia. And we're off to the Torre de Cali. And now would probably be a good time to have a driver so we could have some cocktails up at the top. But luckily I had the next best thing, this designated driver, beautiful designated driver here, my wife. Yes, you need to learn how to drive, man, in Colombia. I refuse to learn how to drive in Colombia because it is chaos here. Normally we never go out to these fancy pants places like this. We like to keep it raw at the salsa dance clubs. <laughs> We hear this place has a pretty awesome view and so we want to see if it lives up to all the hype. Colombia kind of has a bad rap when it comes to safety and if you come to visit here you'll probably realize that it's not as bad as maybe what you see in the news and the media but it is important to take certain precautions and you do have to be careful. For example we shouldn't do this inside the car because people could break your car. For example <laughs> You don't want to dar papaya, which is give people the opportunity to rob you or do anything like that. So what I'm doing right now is probably not a wise decision. But one thing that the rich people do is they hire full-time bodyguards. And to hire a full-time bodyguard in Colombia, it costs around $500 or $600 per month, more or less, depending on the conversion. And so if you're just a normal person and you live on the DL, you probably don't have to worry about this, but if you're super fancy and have tons of money and like to show it, it might not be a bad idea to invest in a bodyguard. Another thing you can do if you work with a lot of money in Colombia is get your windows bulletproof in your car. And the car we're in right now actually does have bulletproof glass. That's why I'm able to be like this with my phone out here in the middle of the hood and it honestly makes me feel like a little bit of a gangster. <laughs> okay guys, so the fee to get inside here is the most expensive we've paid so far. It's about 30 Colombian pesos and that is like $8 per person. The view was cool from the self-proclaimed highest bar in Colombia, but to be honest, the place itself wasn't nearly as fancy as they made it look on Instagram. It's probably not a place where millionaires hang out, but it was a unique experience. At this place was too loud to talk on camera, but cocktails were around $10 each, which is pricey for Colombian standards. For sure, you can get more for less in cooler places, but we still enjoy dancing on top of the tallest building in Cali. The food on the menu didn't look that great, so we decided to revert back to our non-millionaire ways and bought some greasy street food on the way home. <sighs> Did you dream what a dream? Yeah. We were living like millionaires for a day, but in Colombia, so it was cheap. That was wild. I want to go back to sleep. So I guess it's back to simple Colombian life, but it turns out that the normal Colombian life can be absurdly cheap for people who earn in dollars. And in our next video, we're going to show you just how far you can stretch just a couple bucks 
to do some awesome things in Colombia. Subscribe to get notified for that one and in the meantime, check out our video for why Colombia should be your next travel or digital nomad destination and how you can stay safe when you get there. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye bye.